Question eight continues using the information from question number seven. It simply asks for the acceleration of the ball at the very top of its path. In order to figure out the acceleration at the top of the path, we need to use Newton's second law. We're going to sum the forces in the y direction. So the net force in the y direction equals the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. The only force, again, is acting on it is the force of gravity. Therefore, the force of gravity, which is big GM 1M2 over R squared, is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. We can now substitute in the masses into our equation. The mass of the first object would be the mass of the asteroid. The mass of the second object can be the mass of the ball then. And we're setting the forces in the y direction on the ball. Therefore, this is also going to be the mass of the ball. And you can see that the mass of the ball cancels out. And you can see that we get the acceleration in the y direction equals big G times the mass of the asteroid divided by r squared. Again, where r is the distance between the center of masses of the two objects. Now you can see in the problem that we need to know the acceleration at the surface of the asteroid. Therefore, we simply substitute in the radius of the asteroid because the distance between um, the surface of the, of the asteroid and the center of mass of the asteroid would be the value of r. Therefore, we get the acceleration on the surface of the asteroid is big G times the mass of the asteroid divided by r, the radius of the asteroid squared. Now we need to figure out the acceleration at the very top. The only thing that changes is the distance between the center of masses of the two objects, which you can see is equal to 2r. Therefore, the acceleration at the top is going to be big G times the mass of the asteroid divided by that quantity 2r squared. So we end up with big G times the mass of the asteroid divided by 4r squared. Therefore, we can end up pulling out the 1 fourth and get that the acceleration at the top is equal to 1 fourth times big G times the mass of the asteroid divided by big R squared, which is the acceleration on the surface of the asteroid. Therefore, the acceleration on the top is equal to 1 fourth of the acceleration on the surface of the asteroid. The correct answer is D.